guys. Daily bond market updates by INR Bonds. In today's market, uh, we have seen that the uh, 10-year GSEC, the new 10-year GSEC 2032, uh, traded at 6.91%, uh, uh, pretty much flat compared to yesterday levels. And the corporate bond deals are very attractive at current point of time. Given the uh, government security, uh, investors are seeing the, a drawdown in their portfolio to the sharp price in uh, GSEC. And the, uh, the short-term corporate bond yields uh, also have not uh, uh, really moved much uh, uh, as much as compared to the G6. Given the interest rate cycle is changing, uh, the higher maturity bonds will have uh, are prone to the duration risk. So due to which uh, the corporate bonds with the shorter and maturity uh, makes a better investment for the fixed income investors. Uh, do check out uh, our uh, INR bonds quick invest app, both, which is available both on App Store and Play Store. And the investors can uh, check out our curated list of bonds, uh, the most uh, trending bonds on our platform, and use our parameters uh, to search or narrow down the bonds which would uh, rightly fit into your uh, portfolios. And that, uh, to download the, our app, uh, you can check out uh, the links which are given in the description box below. And in the equity space, we have seen the Sensex and Nifty uh, uh, traded lower today, down by 1%. And the US futures also show that US markets are likely to the negative. And European markets are traded mixed as, as the investors await for the monetary policy decision from the Bank of England and the ECB. In the last uh, monetary policy meeting, the Bank of England uh, raised the interest rates by 25 basis points, surprised uh, uh, um, market participants and also uh, the ECB in the last meeting stated that they'll be ending the pandemic emergency program by by this March 2022. And uh, the yesterday Eurozone reported the record high inflation of 5.1 percent, and the investors will uh, will wait for the what is the take on take on the inflation by the policymakers of uh, ECB. And uh, the Fed also stated the latest policy meeting that they'll be raising rates. Uh, from uh, March 2022, and uh, stating that uh, they'll be uh, raising three times this year. So, given this, uh, the whole uh, the interest rate cycle is changing. Uh, the investors are uh, are it's, it's suggested that investors uh, look at the shorter end maturity papers, uh, which will which will, where they can uh, once the maturity is done, where the investors can reinvest the money into the uh, higher uh, higher uh, in, uh, higher yield bonds. And in the private placement space, uh, uh, Tata Motor Finance uh, raised around the 67 billion at 7.28%. It's a three year maturity paper. And also, we have seen Aditya Billa Finance uh, uh, raising around uh, 100 billion at 6.8% for three years. And that's it for today. Uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, if you have not done so, so that you'll not miss out any updates from us. Thank you for listening. Thank you.